Hi doing guys, just deep here from Just Review. So I have S10 with me, Galaxy S10. Uh, this is the flagship phone. And I believe this is the still very good phone to buy in 2020. And I've seen um, the hype around OnePlus Note. Um, and I don't think so that phone deserved that much hype. And according to me, uh, if you compare that phone with maybe a realme phone or maybe a xiaomi phones or any other chinese phone basically it doesn't uh, worth spending 400 dollars or 400 euros and also 400 euros is like 460 dollars so if it comes to united states then obviously it's not worth of 460 when you can buy this phone for almost around uh, $450 brand new and if you go for used then maybe for $350 also but um, as it is a flagship and the oneplus node is so called flagship killer we're gonna compare both of these phones and let's see if this phone is more worth than oneplus node or not or the hype around the oneplus node is actually worth so let's start. If you go in performance, this phone has uh, 855 Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. And if you go for the OnePlus node, you, you're gonna find a Snapdragon uh, 765G processor, which is not a bad processor, but it's way far behind 855 or 865. 865 and 855 i don't believe it's that much a big difference but if you compare it to 765g then it's it's a mid-range processor and it's no comparison to a flagship uh, processor also this phone uh, starts from 8 gb of ram and start from 128 gigabyte of storage uh, this has three cameras and um, one is 16 megapixel ultra wide camera one um, 12 megapixel wide camera and uh, 12 megapixel of telephoto camera but if you compare it with the oneplus node that has actually 48 megapixel main camera and 2 megapixel of micro camera which is basically rubbish and ultra wide camera which is not good and um, i'm not sure what other cameras are there but um, basically they say they stole it from oneplus 8 and oneplus 8 stole it from oneplus 7. a oneplus 7 is also from 2019 and at that time this oneplus 7 camera wasn't near to the galaxy s10 camera so you do the math camera is not good either uh, both cameras uh, can record 4k videos uh, from the rear and from the front but the node cannot record um, 4k 60 fps from the back camera but it can record 4k 60 uh, from the front camera also 1080p 60 as well but this can also record um, stereo quality of sound uh, plus 4k 60 front and back if you talk about uh, flagship qualities um, obviously it got all the bells of this it's like wireless charging ip68 um, waterproof resistance a curved display uh, which many of the youtubers says uh, they don't like it i don't uh, agree with that i really like the curved display like um, I never had uh, any accidental touch or anything. There are options in this phone to avoid it. And um, stereo quality of speaker. Even on the full volume of sound, the sound doesn't get distorted. It's dual mounted speaker and it sounds very, very good single mounted speaker on the bottom it doesn't come close to uh, dual speakers that's my argument too like uh, if you're paying almost the same price 
for the phone why not just get a flagship phone why just make a hype around mid-range phone which is nothing compared to uh, a flagship phone and after that uh, i know the fingerprint sensor for uh, for the node is uh, much better um, it has optical fingerprint and this has ultrasonic but i would say this is much more secure uh, because this doesn't flash any light onto the screen to take a picture of your uh, thumb. When I had this phone from, uh, first, this fingerprint sensor wasn't that much reliable. But now, after some update, it works actually very fast. Even like the, um, the screen is off, I can still use it like that. But anyway, like it's the speed of these fingerprint sensor, I would say is basically the same. Plus, this is a little bit more reliable and a little bit more um, secure. After that, if you come on the screen quality, this has the 2K display. Um, if we go to uh, settings, you all know uh, Samsung usually gives the option for the screen resolution change. So you can put it to 720, you can put it to 1080 and then 1440p. I put it to 720 just to save battery. Talking about battery, the problem of this phone um, where it lacks behind OnePlus Node is the battery. Like uh, with older phone, uh, the battery degrade problem is also there. Uh, even if you don't use the phone, um, battery still degrades. But uh, in my case, I would say uh, in this phone, battery might have de degraded for maybe 10 percent but i still can get two uh, two days of battery backup from this if you don't believe me then i'll show you to here um, so battery usage all right so i've you uh, i've charged it today for 30 percent but uh, if you see here so here i charge it for 100 percent and and that day i use it 30 minutes 13 minutes and after that uh, three hours here and today uh, i charge it here 30 so till here i've used it for uh, two hours again so it's almost a six hour of uh, screen on uh, time which is not bad from any side it's very very good i would say but if you switch it to 1080p it's gonna go down and if it uh, if you gonna switch it to 1440p which actually looks very nice but uh, you you're not gonna get a one day battery backup from this phone this also have a fast charger which can charge this phone for um in one hour 10 minutes like it's always the same case i can always uh, charge it in one hour uh, 10 minutes and also support wireless charging i know the whoop charging are um one plus fast 45 watt charging can charge the phone in maybe 45 minutes or 50 minutes that's good yeah i i'll, I'll get that uh, to note but here uh, you sacrifice very less and gain a lot of features and don't forget uh, that it has the uh, reverse uh, wireless charging too it can charge your airpods and samsung buds too Talking about display, this has a 6.1 um, inch of display as compared to Nord's 6.44 inch uh, display. And uh, IP68, as I said, and uh, the sides of the phone has uh, metal. And the overall durability is very, very good as it has Corina Glass um, 6 in the front. And I think uh, maybe a Gorilla Glass 5 in the back. Uh, Nod has glass in the back, but uh, sides are plastic. That means if you drop the phone, uh, maybe the metallic paint is going to chip off and it's going to give a very, very bad dent. According to me, uh, OnePlus Nod doesn't come close to this phone uh, if you go for the price. Only phone which comes close to this phone for the price, I think is Poco F2 Pro because it has um, a Snapdragon A65 processor and a little bit good specs, but overall quality of that phone is not good. Um, software experience is not good. Uh, plus, uh, if you compare this phone with uh, S10 Lite, I would say that phone is still good. 
but the price difference is uh, basically very rare minimum um, that phone is maybe for $400 you can get it uh, for brand new uh, or 400 euros at least in Europe and this maybe for 450 brand new I'm talking about yeah because that phone has bigger screen faster um, charging and bigger battery and bigger screen that phone is a good competition for this phone uh, rest um, I haven't got any of the scratches of the phone uh, till now like you can see lots of uh, smudges and fingerprints but uh, there's no physical damage to this phone even after one year that's why I love this phone and I would say just uh, ignore node ignore iPhone SE and buy this phone so do let me know if you like this video and if you thinking to get this phone and if you liked uh, this comparison I know I don't have the note phone with me but I will try to get it with me maybe whenever it's on sale I think it's gonna start at 4th of August but as if now I would suggest to get this phone instead of any other mid rangers because right now this is the actual flagship killer which used to be a flagship so that's all for now so thank you very much for watching and have a great day ahead bye bye